This episode of Techno Buffalo is brought to you by the National Campaign Against Drunk Driving. Welcome back to another episode of Rentinger's Rants. I'm your host, John Rentinger. This is the show where I rant and rave on anything from the world of technology and sometimes outside the world of technology. This one falls right in between. Up this week, we're going to rant about terms of service, sort of fresh in my mind hole from Instagram, and it is very important, something that most of us don't even read, just scroll down and hit accept. This is Rentinger's Rants. Let's go ahead and get ranting. So early last week, Instagram, kind of under the radar, put out new terms of service. And listen, I'm not going to lie. Most of the times, I don't read them anyway. I scroll to the bottom to let me hit accept. I hit accept and I go on my way. Uh, I always remember the South Park episode when that happened with Apple. If you never got a chance to see that, it's pretty funny. A little human centipede action. But terms of service is super important. So Instagram put out new terms of service. Of course, they were just acquired by Facebook. And essentially what they said was, we own your pictures and we might sell them. Now what Instagram meant to say was, we might put ads in your pictures, and they interpreted that as selling. And listen, I've been married for a while, I know sometimes I don't always say what I mean, and it gets me in a lot of trouble. And Instagram got in a lot of trouble because of that. Everybody's saying, I don't want you to own my pictures, I don't know what you're gonna do with it, I get freaked out, you're gonna sell my pictures Instagram, I'm gonna see my photo of my food in an airplane wing on a billboard somewhere, or in some sleazy magazine. I don't like it, Instagram. You're gross with your selling of pictures. So I think it got blown a little bit out of proportion. I don't think Instagram ever intended to take your photos of your dessert or photos of you and your friends out, whatever you're doing, uh, with your cool filters and borders, and uh, intend to actually sell them for a profit. What Instagram intended to do was put ads in image. In image ads, certainly a new upcoming thing. Uh, for those of us that run websites, you guys run a blog, uh, in-text ads are a big thing as well. Anything in something uh, is the next frontier of ads. Static ads aren't performing the way they used to, uh, and certainly Instagram is looking away to sort of monetize what they do. So I sort of fall on both sides of the fence. Uh, on one hand, Instagram's a free service. So I feel like I don't have necessarily the biggest of a right to complain because it's a free service. Now, if I was paying for it, that'd be a whole other ball of wax. On the other hand, you just want to tell Instagram, just, dude, be cool. You know you get that friend that just acts up and you just want to smack him across the head? That's what I felt like with Instagram. Uh, they should have spent more time warding things the way they intended. And there was a huge backlash. People were going to say, we're going to shut down our Instagram accounts. National Geographic, one of the biggest Instagram accounts out there, said, we're suspending our account until it gets resolved. And the same day a new term of service came out, Instagram was like, whoa, hey, hey, sorry guys. Whoa, we didn't mean that. Calm down. And then two days later, they changed the terms of service to say they're not going to sell the images, uh, essentially. So a couple cool things here. First, the freaking power of the internet was proven yet again. With enough outrage, we can change things. It's a good lesson for, for everything, uh, whatever cause you believe in. On the other hand, outrage maybe could have been better service for other things. Uh, so the moral here, it's always important to read terms of service, and I say it, and deep down, I know I'm probably not going to do it for everything. Uh, but there are some things that are very important. Things where you're putting up personal information. Things like Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. People might see your face, might see your address or a phone or might be revealed. Uh, it's really important to know where those privacy things are going to go. Where those things that you might not want to be released to the public are going to go. Especially relevant uh, if you have children. Uh, if children are posting pictures to Facebook or Instagram. Uh, you can sometimes get EXIF data that can use geolocation and pinpoint exactly where you took that picture, uh, which can be very dangerous uh, if you don't want people to know exactly where your children are uh, or where you are. So be very aware. Uh, some advice that I give for people is turn off geolocation on your phone when you're taking pictures and uploading them. Oftentimes, that'll get rid of the whole problem of the geolocation stuff. You don't have to worry about it. On the other hand, maybe you want to track your pictures and where they are, but just either way, just be careful and be smart. And read terms of service. See what you're getting yourself into. And if it's a free service, maybe you don't have necessarily the biggest right to complain. Uh, if you're paying for it, you should be able to bitch your head off because you're their customer and they should do what you want. Customer's always right. At least that's what I like to tell them myself. It very rarely works out that way. So thank you guys for watching another episode of Rettinger's Rants. I'm John Rettinger. Be sure to check out technobuffalo.com for the latest and greatest tech news. I will see you in the next video. So in a lot of our videos we put up, we got sponsors that have awesome products or features that they're trying to let people know that they have. This week though, we've got a really important message we want to share with you. Don't drive drunk, especially with the New Year's and the holidays coming up. Stay 
far away from a car if you've even been anywhere near alcohol. It is never ever worth it. The police are out there looking for you. You might not see the cops, but the cops are trained to see you. Years and years of training have meant to find drunk drivers. It's not worth it. In addition to the pain and monetary hassle you're going to have to go through, it's not worth risking your life, your passenger's life, or somebody else's innocent life that you may damage on the way. It's just not worth it, guys. Always think twice before you get in a car. Call your parents, call a friend, call a cab, take a bus, take a train. Take a plane, take a helicopter, whatever you want. Helicopter is pretty cool though. Find any other way to get home instead of getting into your car. It's just never worth it. Remember guys, drive sober or get pulled over.